Since you're in San Bernardino County, let's talk about what's happening here with San Bernardino County first. Not much. Um, as you know, the county was supposed to be drafting an ordinance to allow medical marijuana collectives to operate like the one that's operating in Yucca Valley. It's still operating, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, and uh, there's a few others, but they, um, they haven't done it. And they're not going to do it. They told us that they were going to do it. They just out and out flat lied to us. And they're going to pass a ban, we think, in sometime in June. Well, we want to go up there and tell them this is wrong. This is not right. They are costing the taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes down the drain. They are ruining the lives of medical marijuana patients and those people who provide them with their medicine. It's just absolutely insane. If we don't go there and tell our Board of Supervisors that, then no one tells them that. And they think what they're doing is right. We make them feel really guilty, and we make it more difficult. We make, as a consequence, we make the Sheriff's Department have to be far more cautious in what they're doing. I mean, you've got a bull in the china shop right now at the San Bernardino Sheriff's Office. But they would be even worse if they, were, if they didn't feel they would have to account for anything they did wrong. Now, what they've done, you know, they've busted about four different collectives in the last two months. Uh, one in Phelan, one in Rancho Cucamonga, one in Chino, and one in Fontana. Apparently, the one in Fontana may have done something wrong. I've talked to them. I'm not sure. The Chino one... I don't know. We're hearing all kinds of things, but you know, I don't necessarily believe everything that comes out of the police department. Uh, the one in Phelan, they haven't charged them with anything. The one in Crancho Cucamonga has not been charged with anything. And talking to those people, I don't think they've, they've did anything wrong to be charged with. They just go in there and they bust them and arrest them and take the medicine and put them out of business because they can and they don't have to they don't, they're not accountable. So when they don't f file charges against them, well, then they don't file charges against them. But in the meantime, they've completely disrupted their business, and for a lot of patients, they've completely disrupted their supply of medicine. Uh, the only way it's going to stop is when the Board of Supervisor gets down on and do it. So what we're asking everybody to do, I know it's kind of a drive for a lot of you, but, you know, this is your county government. If they don't hear from you people, people who live in the county, people who vote, they're going to think they can do this immunity free. And they can't. And we're going to show them they can't. And one of the ways is we've got to come on down there. It's the Board of Supervisors meeting Tuesday, May 25th. It's going to be this coming Tuesday. And we're meeting at 10 o'clock. It's really a lot of fun. We party out front and with signs and all this kind of stuff. And then around 11, 11.30 or so, we usually go in at public testimony time and we testify and we tell them. We tell them our stories. You know, you might say, what am I going to say? Tell them why you use medical marijuana. Tell them why it's important to you. Tell them why you're tired of seeing hundreds of thousands of dollars of your tax money being flushed down this ridiculous drain of, uh, of marijuana reefer madness by law enforcement that just doesn't like this law and is abridging your rights and your freedom because they don't like it. It's just plain wrong. We've got some court cases percolating through. We've got this 4th District Court of Appeals case, which is going to decide, hopefully once and for all, whether cities can pass zoning ordinances that ban collectives. That's why you can't have them. You can't, nobody is saying that they're illegal. They are saying that you can't, we can zone you out of a right out of existence. You know, just as a side note, you know, you probably heard a lot about Los Angeles. And everybody, oh my gosh, you know, Los Angeles is doing these horrible things to all the collectives. They're closing so many down. Well, you know, I really don't have too much of a problem with what Los Angeles is doing. I mean, they're doing what we say they can do. They say, we say they should be able to regulate us and license us. Los Angeles is not saying we do not have the right to have collectives. They're not saying that. That's what they're saying here in San Bernardino. That's what they're saying in Riverside County. You do not have the right to open up a collective, even though the law says you can. We can tell you, we can take that right away from you. Los Angeles isn't saying that. They're saying we have the right to regulate the number, and we can license them, and we can tax them. We're not arguing with that. Our argument with Los Angeles is not whether we can exist or not, just how many of us can exist. That's a whole different type of an argument. 
and it's an important difference. And that's and if they point to Los Angeles, and you'll hear this, oh, look at all the problems Los Angeles having. Well, Los Angeles is putting in regulations and, and laws and stuff, so they won't have any problems. What are you doing? It's a, it's a, it's a horrible situation that just can't go on, but our political leaders just bury their heads. So Tuesday, May 25th, put it on your calendar. It's, da it's in downtown, beautiful downtown San Bernardino. When was the last time anybody was in downtown San Bernardino? You're, 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 you're in for a real treat. You're, you're in for a treat for the, uh, what, the, what your capital, what your county seat looks like. What a disappointment. Anyway, come on down. It's 385 North Arrowhead Avenue. It's in the county administration building right next door to the Superior Court building. And that's why the bottom line is why you need to come to these meetings at the county administrative building is so someday you don't wind up next door at the county superior court building because the cops didn't like what you were doing and went after you to, because you were doing it. So you've got to exercise your rights. You're an American. You're, you're, everybody talks about freedom and, and freedom of speech and right to address. And grit. Well, if you don't do it, if you don't do it, then what's the point of having it? That's why you've got to get out and do it. We have changed a lot. We have come a long way with the medical marijuana laws in, 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 uh, in the Inland Empire. A few years ago, uh, a few years ago, a year ago, in San Bernardino County, they would arrest any patient with any plants for any reason. They don't now. They now, San Bernardino County, had to issue the card. And if you have the card, and you don't have more than six plants and more than a half pound of dry process bud, they will not arrest you. 